Hi guys! Guess what today is? Story time! Story time! Give them the, give them the, give them the story time! You guys are always asking me to tell a story. You're not always asking. In my mind, you're always asking. Yeah, and they, they, they want you to talk your, your side of the stories. Yeah, but this is still a story that involves Wayne. Yeah, no, this is both of our stories. So we'll tell this story together. Yeah. Bear in mind, this story happened about 13 years ago when we were very young, mm -hmm. very stupid. In the same house. Very young and very stupid. Please bear in mind, it's not the people you see in front of you today. No, 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 no. Twenties. <laughs> we were really young yeah. and I must stress stupid. So this is our weed cake story. Mm -hmm. And anybody who has had any experience with weed in edibles um, that you ingest or digest, um, you know that it is a thing where sometimes you get a, a, a high that is really like... It's not something to be played with. It's not something to ramp with, you yeah. know. So we're not trying to, um, you know, uh, what's the word? Promote it. Or endorse it no. in any way. We're no. actually <laughs> Doing going the opposite. to... Yes, yes, it's actually the opposite. For us, okay? Might yeah. be your thing. That's cool. But it's definitely... It's a warning. It's, it's, it's a warning because, trust me, I know everybody can manage that something there and it, it really gets intense at a certain point. And you see that P word there, paranoia, paranoid, yeah, oh. it, it's wrapped up in it. So anyway... Let's um, go back to that fateful evening 13 years ago. Mm -hmm. It was around Christmas time. Yeah. We decide you, you you listen. The people want to hear you going a two story. Well, I'll just, go, meet us there for listen and interject and stop you and cut you if you go. No. Right. I can't believe we're telling this story, but that's cool. No, anyway. man. Them drama is there to them. Yeah, drama. I have to tell man. I never had no man? drama in my life. You know, a drama when give it drama. You know. Anyway, so it was a long, long time ago, and um. You know, we were young and stupid. And um, you said that six I'm times. I'm going to say though. it 40 million more times. And I wanted to try um, an edible because, you know, I never really smoke weed or anything like that. And, you know, um, I was like, well, maybe if I eat it, you know, that'd be cool. And so I said to Wayne, you know, it'd be nice to have like some friends over in our circle of trust, people who we know, love and trust, and we should invite them over and we should... Mark that down, circle of trust. trust. Write it this down, underline key point. it. Um, and then everybody should stay the night at our house so that nobody has to drive, so that nobody has to leave and that we can be in a safe environment. Mark that down, slumber party, <laughs> sleepover, everybody can stay. That was the agreement. Go on. And um, so my friend and I were in charge of baking the cake. And we didn't really know what we were doing. So a friend of ours, who we will call Rico, uh, came by and, you know, we Rico? asked. Yes. <laughs> That's a cool name, Rico we, Suave. We asked for Rico's advice as to what to do. Now, Rico suggested... I would imagine a safe amount, but we got excited and decided to put more in. No. Yes, we did. No. You didn't bake the cake. You guys started to bake the cake. When Rico came, he said, what? No. That's a joke. That's not how it went. That's not how it went. Okay. We're going to have a problem with this. Story. All right. Okay. Go on. Go on. Rico Continue. suggested a safe amount. Okay. We said, that's a joke. Rico and was the so, pro, so this is one of the first mistakes that is happening now. So, the people who are the amateurs at this, beginners, are telling the pros how to bake. Go on, continue. So we said to him, you know, that doesn't look like enough. Um, we're making a whole cake. Let's just put the whole thing in. A portion of <clears throat> weed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, I feel like we should call it another name. What? Instead of weed. Weed legal, no, no. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, 
Like they like that. Like I said, we're not promoting this. Anyway, so then now uh, we bake this beautiful chocolate cake with icing and everything, and, and we bake it, and you know, cake shot, the batter fluffy, was delicious. Nice, proper. I mean, we even ate the batter. And um, me even ate the batter. You did. And I made it comfy. Yeah, you and yeah. what should we call that other friend? Um, Marky. Marky. Marky and Wayne started the party early with eating the batter. And so then now, Rika had to leave because he got a call from a friend. Um, and then Rika came back with a girl who we have never met, never seen. And we were like, what is Rico doing? Yeah, we're, we're just like, yo. Dog. Circle of trust. We said in a circle. Yeah. No outsiders because we know what this can amount to. We know what can Not happen. Not only that, at the time, you know, we were both having our careers and we didn't want it to be a thing like, you know, this is what we do because it's not what we did. We were just... Trying it out. While it out one night. It Wilding was not out. a regular Young, thing at all. Young, stupid, early 20s, not good, you know? Anyway. Young and stupid, again. again. Mm -hmm. And so, he comes back with this girl now, and we, we start to feel a little way, because we're like, this is tricky. He assures us, no problem, whatever, whatever. It's all good. She, he actually said, she's not going to be eating any cake or anything. Right. She's cool, she's chill. Yeah. And I she was don't like, know the And thing. I actually said to Rico, make sure she does not eat any cake. So then no, we go upstairs and we're games all, night are going, games right? night. We're game playing night. all types of games, laughing, joking, whatever. And you know, the cake is being kind of shared out or whatever. And you know, everybody's cool. But it's a, this is the thing about this cake. It takes like a couple hours for it to actually kick in. And, and a rookie mistake. Oh, and a half, two hours. Or um, sometimes four. A rookie mistake is that you think nothing's happening, so you go back for another slice. Yeah. Which is kind of what happened. Yeah. While Rico was outside on the balcony, his friend, who we will call... I don't even know her name in real life. Suppose, Trish. Suppose that's her real name. <laughs> Trish, a, Trish decides to take a guess. slice of the cake. I believe you gave Trish the cake, actually. Oh, me forgive somebody the cake is 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 obviously Rico. I say yo. Rico didn't give her. I think it was Marky. She gets a slice of the cake, guys. Right? She knows. Because she but, knows what the cake is. By right. The way. Yeah, She's yeah, not yeah, tricked not, into having this right, cake, thinking right. it's a real. She knows what the cake is. Yeah. Anyway, the time is going on, and me and my friend, we are laughing, and we can't stop laughing, and we're having a great time because you know. We're all together, we're safe. Oh, this is, it seems like this is fun. And then my friend looks at me and she goes, Tammy, I think I'm gonna dead of laughing. Like, me, I dead with laugh. And we are just laughing, 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 laughing. Next thing I know, Trish gets up and Trish is gone. You take over. She was rocking. She was rocking on the chair oh, like this. I forgot about that. Yeah, she was rocking on the chair. She was rocking hard. Yeah, she was rocking and she was saying, mm, No. What's going on? No, I missed that part. Yes, she was rocking and she was saying, Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, this is wrong. Anyway, Trish disappears after she hears my friend saying that she's going to die of laughter. And I kid you not, in a matter of minutes, all we hear, we are upstairs and all we hear from downstairs, remember we don't have no kids or anything in the house at this time, because this was years ago when we were young and stupid. All I hear is, Jesus, 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 <laughs> Jesus, 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 Ooh. Jesus, 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 so I'm like, oh Jesus, somebody has died for her, you like, said that she got a team? call because she was on the phone. That's what I thought. We look over the balcony, we run over to the balcony, we look over the balcony and we see her on the phone and we're like, Jesus Christ. Sure. So she's on the phone, so we think that she's gotten some bad news. In fact, Rico is with her at this point because Rico run from upstairs to downstairs and he's like, oh my God, clearly something has happened. Next thing now, Rico tells us that she starts to ask Rico for his phone because she need a call. Jesus. Wow. And she have Jesus number, but she don't have no credit. Wow. 
paper. You know the thing looking kind of funky now. Mm -hmm. I don't hear that conversation. Rico is relaying that to us. So now I go to the top of the stairs to look at what's happening. And all of a sudden... And by the way, holy thought, Tammy's buzz, everybody's buzz is kicking in at the same time in their, in their but, own little way. Okay? But it's a good part of the buzz, right? Yeah. So then now I go to the top of the stairs and remember, we don't know each other, right? so stupid and and young and young and she goes tammy tammy and i'm like jesus jesus right okay tammy they don't know what we're going through they don't know what we're going through only only you and i understand Ooh. what's happening she pulled you in pulled me in babe uh. so i was like okay and literally at that point we looked at rico and said we need to get her home right now yeah. right because there's nothing like a bad high it's contagious well, at that point at that point is when you and marky hi baby hi, Ma. soon come close the door we're coming close okay door. close the door okay stay outside okay is it even a story time if atlas doesn't interrupt no, us no no absolutely not so then no the people are waiting for him <laughs> at that point so wayne and marky pulled me and my friend one side and by the way there were only like three or four other people with us. Yeah. Apart from me, you, Marky, my friend, and a couple other people. Yeah. yeah. So they sit us down, right? Because now we're like this. And they sit us down and they're like, The P Yo. word. Yeah. They're like, actually, this is the best thing that you said. Guys, there is such a thing as mass hysteria. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you said. Yeah. Exact words. And you were like... Just because somebody else is having a bad go of it doesn't mean that you are going to have a bad go of it, but we just don't want that vibe to continue. So let's just, you know, try and have a good time. And we're like, yeah, 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 no problem, no problem. She's just, you know, it's cool, it's cool. And we're like, yeah, man, it's cool, it's cool. We're good, we're good, we're good. So we sit down now, look a bit now, you know, and may I like shake my leg now, come here, wonder what, go on, <laughs> Rika, go on with Trish now. And I'm just like, all right, yeah, it's cool, it's cool. And literally, I all of a sudden in my head started to just hear Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh my God. Like I was like, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In something a, is a, wrong a. with me. No, something is wrong with me. So I could wow. understand all of a sudden what the Jesus, Jesus was about. Because wow. I started to feel like how she was feeling. And the only mm. thing you can say in that moment when you're feeling this is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Because it is actually scary. Okay? I don't think that's for a fun feeling. I find it to be a scary feeling. So me start say Jesus, 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 and I'm here. No, me start yeah. rock now, you know, see me in a chair, you know? Jesus, <laughs> right? Jesus. So I'm going to sit down beside Wayne and I'm like, Wayne, I think I need to go and bathe. I think I need to bathe. If I just bathe, I'm going to feel better. Mm -hmm. And I put my head on Wayne's shoulder like this. And then, and then he's like, all right, let's go bathe. And I was like, babe, I cannot lift my head. Like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I cannot lift my head off of his shoulder. Like, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So anyway, he manages to right get me. Right here was the beginning of the end of the night, yeah. basically. It, it goes was a spiraling down. So he manages to get me downstairs. And I'm like, I can't bathe myself. Like, I cannot actually bathe. I was like, you have to bathe me, right? And I was like, no, you remember but, that? Yeah, but the, you skip an you skip important part of Which the story. Part? When he said, that guy over there is pre me. Oh my God, I did say that. It was, said, our it was your friend more than my friend. Yeah, but I said, I'm not pre And I I'm thought I was domino. whispering. I thought I was whispering. And I stood there and I sat there on the couch and I said, Um, I'm not pre me. Not, and he wasn't pre me like looking me. I felt like he was pre me to hurt me. Okay? Yeah, no, it's just paranoid. And trust me, he's like, people who know about edibles know about the height. Shaky at a point. I did not know. So we we'll come downstairs and I'm like, I have to bathe. The water needs to be cold. You have to bathe me. And I remember distinctly having to pee. And I remember thinking, oh my God. Wayne wants to hurt Wayne you. is going to beat me. <laughs> like I had this feel like you are going to hurt me. Your husband. You weren't my husband. Regardless, your boyfriend, yeah. whatever I was to you. Crazy wants to thoughts. hurt you now. Crazy Out thoughts. of the blue. 
out of nowhere. Anyway, so he, I'm bathing and he and I said to him, boy, I don't feel and better. And people, I'm trying to navigate this high too. <laughs> He's high point, at this point as right? well. So I'm just trying to like keep the whole ship sailing without this going down like the Titanic. Anyway, I, I thought it was going to be like when you drink and you know, when you get like in cold water and you, you kind of sober up a little bit. I thought that that wasn't going to happen. So I, I, I come out of the bathroom and I get dressed and I said, I don't feel good. And guess what? everybody has to leave and you're like no 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 everybody is feeling this too so we need to keep them here and keep them safe i said they cannot stay here they have to leave <laughs> right no anyway right now she and trish, trish was in the same boat at this point yes yes and i remember i remember wanting to go in the closet and check if she was in there because i kept hearing jesus 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 wow yeah okay. so i just remember laying in bed while wayne was getting everybody to leave and watching you remember dexter's laboratory you remember that cartoon <laughs> and oh, i just yeah. remember thinking this is the wildest thing yeah, i've yeah, yeah. ever seen yeah so it was wayne, like wayne psychedelic and yeah. weird like cartoons get weird yeah. under at this edibles. point by the way marky says he can't feel his teeth right <laughs> marky yeah, was Marky's walking around was <laughs> like i don't have teeth and we're like, no, yeah. everybody has to leave. What's Marky's girlfriend name? That's my friend. Yeah, what's her name? Um, Lisa. Yeah, and Lisa was like, poof. No, Lisa was gone. Yeah. All right, and then now you come back in the room that night now. And what happens next? You Oh, yeah, you start to think that you're going to have to take me to the hospital. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. It was bad because you were like, I am going. I I'm think not I asked to, to go to the hospital. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. It was your bag was packed. <laughs> you were ready to go to the hospital. I just remember you saying this, Maria. I got to be chin daughter. Go to hospital right now. I was like, yes, you are. And I'm trying to because... go around it because I'm not able to operate heavy machinery at this point. Like you can't I'm just drive. Like, no, no way. But then we are telling our friends who are on the same high to, to leave. drive. <laughs> to drive That's and go home. So bad. No, tell me you're bad. You were and bad. so I'm contemplating going to the hospital at this point because I'm sure I'm going to die. And then I start to feel a little bit better. This is hours later, by the way. So, I mean, you're getting a very squished down version. Not hours. really hours later. It oh, like yes, it was. Two, three hours. Like, no, no. This is it happening was in the morning. This is happening like, what? It's like it's one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Why is Atlas screaming? So the part of the story that Wayne doesn't like to tell is the part where I started to feel better and all of a sudden Wayne is just shaking in the bed. I was not shaking, shaking in you the bed. You were shaking in the bed. Leg Yo, a shake. Yo, we have been... Leg a shake. And then you start to say this to me. Can I? Can I go through my... I know. Can, <laughs> can I have my bad trip now? Can I go through this now? And I was just like, Dude. whoa. And you started to no. get up and pace around the room. Shh, no, hold and on, I was hold like, on. he needs to get a grip. No, 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 no. Tavi, remember you were not in any position to give any form of testimony Wayne, you know, Wayne, in that zone that you were in. Not fair. Now. You were in the zone too. All right. I move like so in the bed. No. One move so. Watch out now. You're twitching. Why no. are you moving so hard? No. Why are you moving and jiggling? Like you just like you are shaking, blow your, your side of that story you are out of shaking proportion your legs so hard, legs. and then you would get up, and then you would get up and literally pace the room. And I was like thinking, oh my god, am I taking Paul at Mitchell's son to the hospital? She tonight? has been making this false claim for thirty it's years. It's not a lie. It's yeah. not a lie. And you remember, you Th had Tammy, a, you were wait, not in any position. Wait. Like, listen, right, you could not go in watch any court and say this and it's stand. Watch the, me the, the now. frame of mind or the state watch of mind that now. you were Let in Let me show you the frame of mind he was in. He had a show the next day, right? Hmm. And he... I'm not saying that I wasn't high. He was like, what may I go do? I Jesus was going, Christ. but you were the Jesus one who was Christ. like you making started, it You did start Jesus Christ too. I did way. not. Yes, what may I, I go to tomorrow? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> How this I gonna go? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why? No, sir. Can't believe sir, this reached me tonight. No, sir. I wouldn't put another cake, man. Like it was drama, right? Anyway, we somehow we somehow fall asleep, right? I will wake up the next morning and it's like groggy. Yeah. You take over now. Hold on. 
Yes? So in the morning now, we wake up now and kind of lays around little and I say, yo, I try to recap on what going last night. Then my phone ring, Rico. Marshy. Hold on, stop that. Hmm? We have to talk about how Rico, what Rico had to do to get her home. Oh, to get oh, cause that I mean this that story had different story. spin offs, you know, cause everybody who will leave gone with them high and it's a whole predicament and precarious going in a each individual zone. So when when Rico leave with Trish, she, first of all it was a, like a thirty five minute, forty minute drive to her house. They stopped at Burger King first because he tried to sober her. For up. real? Yeah. I spoke to Rico this week to get a recap. Wow. Yeah, and Rico was like, um, and then on our way home, on our way to her house, she just kept singing gospel tune after gospel and tune. And she told him to put it on Love FM. And then she said, put it on Love FM. And literally, when she did, and... She said, Rico, sing with me now. Sing with, sing me. with me. Oh, Lord, prepare me. She Jesus, did. love is a bubbling <laughs> over. Like... They were singing, they had to sing, telephone. tell him what you need. Then sing all the way home and things, so he <laughs> drop her off. I just can't imagine Rico singing. So, zoom. Yeah. Fast forward now, back into the morning now. Rico is calling me in the next morning and saying, Marshy, a police just called me and said he is inquiring about Trish and the case from last night and how he needs to come or we need to come in. Someone said, no, 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 no. You know my luck and police are oh. by this time. I don't want to hear the word, how much less lease, right? So I'm just like, wow. So At this point, know, I'm dead, by the way. Like, I'm just like, okay, life is over. Worst night, last night, I know, come this morning, this kind of judgment no i'm just like nah man this story need for done right now so we didn't know and i said we start get paranoid again because the we're wind still came out our system yeah. yet zine boom no stay so i clean down the place clean take up the back oven. piece the, take up the cakes cr- scraping out scrape it was up wild crumbs, put in Bleach a garbage everywhere bag. you remember it's like all of our movies that we watched of like things where people clean up we just everything because we say your oh, police are come any minute now yes. one to her if she got hospital yes. if something to her if yes. something serious something oh to her we God. don't know so stay so i have the ex- evidence now exhibit a now in our bag and i say yo all right we're good now and then Tammy say, yo, make a drive out far and drop it somewhere far. So that's it. I say, yo, Tammy, it's not that deep. And she say, no, it's deep. And I say, it's too deep. Oh, you are so far so off. So me stay, so I say, say, yo, you know, me, I'll call my lawyer. Call my lawyer, you know, and say, yo, bossy, if you get a call in a few minutes or a couple hours, this is it. Ray, 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 tay, tay, tay. Him start laughing. Him start saying. Him start saying. But what's the case? There's no case. All right, so I feel a little so better. We drive, we drive out. Oh God, you remember that little house? Every time I drive past that house, I look at that house, I remember it as a house that we literally dropped off evidence in their garbage. <laughs> it, my, my Every name, time. It was just some crumbs it and was two little cross piece town. back piece away no, in there. In, there was a lot of things in there that I, I don't even know. I probably, that's probably where like my socks Damn, went. you were wild I was wild out. And then we went to Tessie and Mommy's house, you remember? To what, uh, to cool out? To sleep, right? <laughs> because I think we were hiding. Remember, so we did have a show the night, you know. Oh my God, who yeah. did you do that show? You yeah, know, man. By that time, we did don't know rock star life. We just do it. Did it anyway. Literally, we thought that the, this was it. You know. Then Rico calls us again. At this point, we didn't want to hear from Rico. Yes. When he told me that she um. The, the, uh, the police called him or some guy which actually turned out to be her boyfriend yeah got to her phone because she was frazzled out mm-hmm. couldn't talk couldn't Function. wait she asleep how much hours so him go in her phone last dial and she said right so him just want to cause trouble and call the youth and frazzled mm-hmm. and he did mission accomplished because the youth the prank were wicked in yeah. scam way terrible that must have been what happened yeah man that yeah. go on man and guess what the worst part about it you know say Trish, when bring her yard, is the daughter of one pastor. Not one regular person, you know, is the, a pastor daughter. The man come bring her yard for a gear week cake. He's you know? so, you know, that was the first mistake. The first mistake oh, was man. when Rico brought the girl. 
The second mistake was because we set the house that. rules. We set yeah. the house rules. And it listen, wasn't supposed to happen. Let's get to our morals of the story, right? Follow your first mind. Jeez, your father. You see, when you see something is wrong, just just stand up and say no. We could have easily looked at Rico and say that's not gonna fly, yeah. right? Yeah. Please take her home. You can come back if you want because you are in the circle of trust. But we do not know this young lady, yeah. um, and we don't want this anything to to happen yeah. so that's the first thing stand up for yourself when you know that something is wrong don't don't go back on your own rules mm -hmm. um, second moral of the story don't leave baking weed and baking edibles to the professionals because it's easy for you things that is a one teaspoon and you put two teaspoon and then no it kind of get a little yeah, bit too. Yeah, don't make your friend, yeah, the moon don't make, your friend make you feel like say, yeah, man, we can make that cool, blah blah. No. Yeah. Don't do that something there. Yeah. I mean, I would say just never do it, period. But you know, that's for me. Each to his own. Each to his own. Um. And if we never experiment with it, we would know the effects of it. But trust me, it is everything that we say and more. Yeah. Um. And thirdly. Never eat the second slice. If you're gonna go yeah. there, don't eat the second slice. Yeah, and it happened to almost 95% of people who eat edibles because they're waiting, they're like watching them clock. Them say, well, on the 45 minute hour, I'm gonna feel no vibes yet. Give me an next piece there. It happened to all of it. May I tell you, Zine? And then now what happened is you get a primary high, which is the first slice that you start to chip in after an hour and a half. And then after that, now build up and you buzz out. The secondary higher come now with the second piece where you eat now for come clap your for six eat no normal it's not good yeah and i feel like it just it just brings up like for me it was just bringing up all of my fears all of my concerns all of my you know um it was just rough like i would never ever want to feel like that again yeah 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 i i it's not something that I did more than twice or three times in life. There, there was the other time. Twice or three times. Ooh. Eh? It only took me one time to learn that lesson. Yeah, but remember, say we did, we did, we did. Um, what? you did bad. No, me, remember the wheat girl. cake. Oh no, but I didn't have any of that. The wheat cake. I didn't have any of the wheat cake. I know, but it was wheat cake. It's worth the salika. Give them a little piece of that story there. So we were at this party one time and there was cake there again and here comes one of our virgin them one of our vegan very nice, virgin very nice guy. no smoke weed him no drink christian guy like everything really so, nice. so 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 him here the man them say yo that we cake the body he know? was offered some cake some of the, the wheat cake and he happily took a slice which i thought was very bizarre because i don't know him to you know yeah, yeah, the that. man him come around and yeah. announce, yo, wheat cake, you know. And so he ate it and he goes, oh my God. He goes, Tommy, this cake is delicious. I can't believe they made it from wheat. And I said, wheat? I said, no, 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 no. I said, it's not wheat cake. This is wheat cake. And he looked me dead in the eye and he said, I have to go right now. And he left. Do you remember Jeez, that? Man, and then that same night we're here, so our next brother, our next friend of ours, leaving brother at the burger, at king, burger king because him see through. in the drive through yeah. because him see the sign start move yeah man him leave him leave him brother clean I'll clean clean i'll be a madness one well, let me tell you something like we said we are not promoting this or glorifying it i would i would hope mm -mm. to deter anybody from it actually um because it was just a very it wasn't actually fun you know at the end of the day there was nothing fun about it and feeling so out of control of your own body and your own, you know, um, just, just, I don't like that feeling, you know? And it just, it, it, it warned us off a bit forever, boy. I can tell you that. And I think ever since then, if there was anybody that we didn't know personally, closely, whatever it was, them, them couldn't set, set foot in this house. And remember, he didn't, like, he didn't bring a girl over for years. Yeah, yeah. no, because we banned him for, yeah, he yeah. got a little suspension from bringing people over. He did, but Rico's a good guy, you know? I would dog. Yeah, so, anyway, I guess that's the story time. That's Was it good? Time. Yeah, that's, that's story time. But why, what are we going to prank my wicked eat? I'm going to deal with my wicked right now. The empty and people are laugh after me in the comments and I say, I'm good for you. You deserve it. I prank with you. Momo, Momo are the people's them champion. Momo said that that prank was on behalf of 
But CIA we ain't going with that thing though. CIA? What's CIA again? Chef oh, it. Chef. I want to you, Chef I Marcy. Lose track. I lose Hello. Track. I lose track. I want to Right now, Professor Wayne is saying, I want to start getting female because I know them too. You know, so. We can't manage anymore. Anyway, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope that you share it. Hope that you like it. Hope that you comment. Um, hope that you subscribe. Um, and I just hope that this keeps spreading further, wider, um, and that more and more people will be pulled into the family. I was telling Wayne, you know, every single day, people come up to us and just say what this show has meant to them. And honestly, it's just been overwhelming and wonderful and yeah. so heartwarming. And we're so grateful that we get to share our lives in this way. So thank you so much. And um, we'll see you again on Monday where we'll have a new upload for you. Just so you know, guys, remember this. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 o'clock Jamaica time. I'm going to know what time that is where you are. Mm -hmm. um, and on a Saturday, I just upload when I get it done because that's kind of like, you know, a free flowing day. So if you're, if you're worried about not getting your notifications, you know that you can actually check at 12 o'clock Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Make sense? If you don't drop at 12 o'clock, you know, it's a little it, glitch, technical difficulty. Glitch. Order, but usually we get it 12 on the dot. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. Oh, my Facebook um, group is back up and running. Thank God. Um, it's Tammy Chin Mitchell with a hyphen right now. I need to tip, get it with a hyphen, but yeah, that's the one. Um, so yeah, check us out on all socials and that's it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hashtag MTM, MTM family. family.